Now, as Foreign Minister Yair Lapid is making his historic stop in the United Arab Emirates, Israeli President Reuven Rivlin is touring through America, and he's meeting with top legislative and congressional officials on the way. Israeli President Reuven Rivlin landing in Washington, D.C. this morning ahead of a historic itinerary. Rivlin now in the United States for his very last official visit as acting president, his term coming to an end July 9. And during the tour, Rivlin meeting with United States President Biden, House Speaker Nancy Pelosi, and senior congressional leaders, after which he's scheduled to return to New York for meetings at the U.N. headquarters. As for what was discussed, Rivlin and his American hosts reiterating their nation's shared values and commitments to good relations regardless of disagreements. But they reportedly especially focused on the Israel-Hamas war last month and Middle East concerns over the United States' re-entry into the Iran nuclear deal. We're committed to unwavering commitment to your self-defense. And uh, today we're going to be discussing a broad range of challenges, including Iran, what I can say to you, Iran will never get a nuclear weapon on my watch, as they say. Israel have no greater friend, ally, than the United States of America. And because of that, of course, we, according to a real friendship, can from time to time discuss matters and even the, the agree not to agree about everything. But we count on you and your um, really declaration just now uh, really brought uh, the Israelis to understand that we have a great friend at the White House. Uh, but all along, uh, we have had a great friendship. The support for Israel in this Congress is, has always been strongly bipartisan, uh, as you wish, and it will continue to be so uh, because of our shared values and because of our mutual security concerns. We are partners. We are parties, dear speaker. We are friends, our nations bound together. Friends, friends may have disagreements from time to time. This will never, never endanger the, our close um, uh, relations.